like two weeks ago, I was sent on a quote marks trip of a lifetime, and um, it kind of was. <laughs> So let me take you back two months. This is me with my friends over at Free in their London office. And this is just before they told me that they'd recently launched Go Roam in South America. And if I was available to fly 6,000 miles to Peru to do what I do best and put it all to the test. What? Okay, Matt, repeat what you just said. I want to take you to Peru. Okay. So exactly 10 days after getting back from Brazil, I was on another flight back out to South America. But this was a totally different experience. Forget the beaches and the swimming pools, we were heading towards the mountains, where in the sun it would be about 20 to 30 degrees, and at night it would plummet to one degrees. Day one we arrived in Lima, which is the capital of Peru. There was so much color here, it was crazy, and we only have one day here by the coast. So, as you do, we're gonna explore some temples in the desert. So the next day we were up at 6.30 and on a plane up to Cusco. And when I say up to Cusco, I literally mean up. Up by about 3,400 meters. And to put that into perspective, London's elevation is 35 meters and New York is 10 meters. So yeah, Cusco is high and we were feeling it. Two hours now since we got to Cusco, I'm slowly adjusting. I'm still like a heartbeat. I can't even talk. Once we adjusted to the altitude, we were able to see why Cusco was one of the most popular destinations in Peru. So over the next few days, we spent our time traveling around Cusco, visiting the sacred valley, the salt flats, and checking out some incredible Inca temples. Each day just got better and better, and we knew that it was probably gonna peak when we reached Machu Picchu. Now, like everyone, I've seen this photo on Instagram like a thousand times, but there's nothing like actually gazing upon this city in real life. It took us a day and a half to get. We had to take like a four hour train and then stay in this cute little city at the bottom of the mountain. For me, that was it. This is in like the top two or three places I think I've ever been. Might be number one. But then we still had one more thing to tick off. Today is the day we climb Rainbow Mountain. We are in this town that is like empty. We're gonna have some food, get some water, and then we go. Okay, so hold up for a sec. Remember I told you Cusco was 3,400 meters above sea level? Well, the peak of Rainbow Mountain was 5,000 meters. Yep, that's only 318 meters below Everest Base Camp and 895 meters below Mount Kilimanjaro. And on the drive to the drop-off point, we were already finding it hard to breathe. That was at 4,000 meters. And then we only had a 5K hike, but that 5K was meant to take us three hours. Oh my God, this is gonna be brutal. That's how slow you have to walk at this altitude. That is the top. It's not far, but this is hard every breath and step. It's just kidding. But we were gonna make it to the peak and um, it turns out Peru was even more beautiful than we thought. <laughs> We had just over a week in Peru, but it felt like a hell of a lot longer. We saw some incredible sights, got to live in the clouds, spent time visiting people that we would never normally get to meet in real life. And I was able to capture and share it all right there and then. So I've got to say thanks to Free for, well, yeah, I guess a trip of a lifetime. <laughs>